move on to another topic here called Title O2, Title Block for Students. This one. This one here. You will see what looks like a title block incomplete. You will see what looks like an arrow here pointed. Now this is because I want to cover this part on attributes. Let me open up a completed version so that you know what I'm talking about first. Huh? Now the template you have been given is a not so smart template. Not so smart as in, you know, you want to change the content here. You have to double click. Then you make your changes this way, one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. Okay. Now we want, on top of showing you how to create an intelligent block, we want to push that intelligence a little bit further even. To the point, when we insert a new title block, The moment you click and insert the title block, the whole, what we call the attribute dialog box will appear and it will allow you to key in everything one shot. And the moment you are done, everything is keyed in already nicely for you. And when you need to make changes, you don't need to double click open one by one. But instead, you can right click, select the item, right click and edit attribute. Then you will be able to have this table here to be able to change everything all inside this dialog box here. That's what we're going to pick up today. First of all, right, so when you have prepared a loose title block already with all the parts all over at this point, huh, this is a loose title block example that we have given you. All right, next command you will key in is this ATT. ATT is the short form for ATTDEF, attributes definition. This one. Once you key in ATT space, the attribute definition dialog box will appear. All right. Now, what you want to gain is this down here. Okay. Let's start with the first item that is here. Project description. I will give one or two examples and then you work on the rest later on. All right. So with this, ATT, then I'll just call this one PROJ underscore e e s all right it's a short ending it's a short form for this but the thing is what you need to pay attention to is this all right the text that you have keyed in must not have spaces if you have it it won't work it won't allow you to save it okay so you need to have an underscore next the prompt all right, the prompt will be I'll key in enter project description. Okay, then the third one it's some default text you put inside, like for example, proposed interior design of da 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 da. Okay, this way. So I'll take out the, the dots there and leave them to fill things up from there. So once that is done, I will simply click OK and I will simply put it here. All right. Now what's actually going to happen is obviously I will then arrange for the text to be placed nicely, move it by let's say, move it by let's say two and a half mm and then move down by by 10 mm and so on so that i have this aligned quite nicely like that 
Now, next thing is, this one is one of those, what we call a G-Tags, a dynamic text format. So, you see the text looks not so nice and a bit ugly and all that. So, what's going to happen is, we can change it, okay? We can change it by right-clicking properties and you see this portion here called multiple lines. Huh? We can change it to yes so that we make it an M text format, a multiple text, multiple line text format. And then we can change the style to gothic underscore one. Okay, so it looks something now that looks like this. Given an M text situation formatting, uh, we will need to change it. We will need to give it a width, okay, a boundary width, which is down, which can be found here under text boundary width. This portion here. Look at where my mouse is at this point. The default number I put in is 80 because the uh, the space given in this area, this cycle block area here. Is 80 something only. So 80 will be a good number to put in. Alright, so I'll just key in this way and then it stays here, like that. Alright. Now I'll just create an example to show you first huh, from here. I'm going to create another, I'm going to create just three so you know. Alright. After I've created this one, right, I I'm just trying to be lazy again, huh? so I don't want to keep having to do this. So I'll just simply make it, I'll just copy this to make this one time and two times, okay, like that. Huh? All right, so, but I have to change the contents. So write this one, okay, you'll find that when I double click on it, when I double click on it, the edit attribute comes up also. So I can change this one to say pro project underscore code. All right, and this one I simply key in enter project code. This default text, uh, I just give it some number, like, for example, year 2019. Dash zero 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 one, my very first project in twenty nineteen. Okay, for example, and then I click OK, and then I'm done. All right. So let's say with this, uh, I give it a width factor. I look at this. The width factor is about thirty five. So I go inside here and right click properties. Uh, under the boundary width. Under the boundary wheel, I'm going to change it instead of uh, 80 at the moment, I'm going to just change it to, let's say, 30 for now. And I'm done. Next one will be the last one, date issuer. So I'll just call it this, let's say, date. All right. And then enter, I will change this one to enter date issued. And the default text would be, let's say year, when, month, when, date, when, for example, okay? And okay, okay. Same thing, I'm going to change the boundary width again to say 30. All right, so I'm done with this. Yeah, now, Okay, this is the part next where I show you how to create this so that it becomes a block drop. Huh? But there are certain things that you need to remember by heart. If not, you, you get a messy uh, outcome. Now, notice what I'm doing. Um, you know the bmake command, no? Okay, we all remember that. Huh? So, same thing. I'll type in bm or bmake command. I give it a logical name. Like, for example, a3 title block. Something like that. With this, huh? Right now, I will pick an insertion point. I will use the lower left-hand most corner to be the
Come. Next, this comes to your critical part. When it comes to attribute building, okay, as a block, you need to use the command first, then select objects method. All right, I'll explain why later on. Huh? Now, if you so, we're going to click on this select object, and I'm very, very particular and careful about the things I select and the sequence I select them. All right. Now, I will use this method. Uh, I will select project description first. I will select project code second. I will select date issued last. After that, then I will select the entire title block. When I'm done, then I will say space and then OK. You notice that now, do you see this sequence? Huh? It will happen in this particular sequence now. Enter project description first. Then enter project code second. Then enter the issue third. How am I going? How I manage to control this sequence is a result of me deciding what I select first. I hope you can understand this part. Because I click this one first, this one will be first. I click this one second, this one will be second. What happens if I window select it? Okay. Let's try. All right. When I be make, um, I will name it. Okay, abortive experiment. Huh? Same thing, I'm going to spin this. Window select the whole lot. And then, voila. Okay, look at the, look at the example now. There is no prediction to the outcome of the dialog box. I really don't know which one is going to be first, which one is going to be second, which one is going to be last, anyway. Personally, I have tried to, I have tried to do this. Huh? Um, there is actually another function in which, there is another method to be able to edit this. Okay. Now, to edit this, I'll just run through with you quickly. Yeah? If you want to edit the attributes or the block, this time round is a bit different. You select the title block or you select the object, right click. This time round, you do not use block editor. You use edit block in space. When you use edit block in space, under the insert tab, you will be able to see this command here called manage. When you click on manage, you will be able to arrange the order up or down in this case. Okay. But when you do this and then you save this, the unfortunate thing is it won't work anyway. Okay, this order, although we, I try to make or change the orders, rearrange the order, uh, I find that it doesn't work. This is a, this is a buggy thing, man. It's, a, it's an AutoCAD part. Eh? So we read the AutoCAD and turn it six fifteen. It's not workable. So that's why I have to insist that when at the time of your creation, you must sequence this properly. So therein, that's what I have to share with you guys. Okay, for the instructional bit. 